Mark, Mark Gallagher. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, welcome to the Z Force vehicle. Uh, my name is Mark Gallagher, and I've worked with Autolive for about two years. And uh, I'm a vehicle validation manager. And uh, in this vehicle, this is our Z Force vehicle, so we're going to be showing you um, the communication between the driver and an autonomous vehicle, and from the autonomous vehicle back to the driver, uh, and what that may look like in different traffic situations. So here we have our Z Force steering wheel. And you can see here it has hands-on detection. So uh, the blue lights are telling us that our hands are on the wheel. And the green light here is telling us that we are on our GPS path. So this is not an autonomous car. I don't want to confuse anybody. But we have programmed this car to be able to follow a set GPS path around this track. Um, you can see here I can turn the wheel and my light turns yellow as it's not on the GPS path. We also have a yellow light here on the instrument panel. So to do this demonstration, we've taken over control of the steering, as well as the audio system, as well as uh, we've manipulated the instrument panel and put it up here so that our folks in the back seat can also see. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, the Z-Force wheel is you know, doing hands-on detection, but this is what it may look like for handover. All we have to auto do is drive release, activated. and we can activate the auto drive system. But there will be times that automated vehicles have trouble and they'll need to warn drivers that something may be in front of them. Here we have two cars very close to the road. And uh, sometimes we even get a collision warning. Warning, driver attention required. But if the vehicle finds its way through and is able to continue, it will then retake control. Auto drive resumed. So you can see there we had the yellow lights that came on. That's communication to the driver that there's a problem. And then the green light comes back on that says we're back in autonomous mode. This Z-Force wheel works with infrared technology, and the infrared technology works with light reflection. So when my hands go on the wheel, they're reflecting the light back from the wheel into the wheel, and uh, that's how it knows that we have hands-on detection. So if all I have to do to take control uh, auto drive deactivated. is grab the wheel and deactivate, and to give the vehicle back control, we just release again. Auto drive activated. So here as we go, you can see in front of us there is an iron gate, <laughs> and that can be difficult for an autonomous vehicle. So again, we're going to get the warning, and again, I won't warning. Driver step in. attention required. So we thought that maybe a vehicle in this situation would just come to a safe stop. Auto drive deactivated. So it deactivates the system and then waits for the driver to take control in case they were reading a book or whatever they were doing, distracted. So we'll go on that loop one more time. So once again, with the handover, just merely letting go of the wheel. Auto drive activated. And to take back control, we just uh, put hands Auto drive on. deactivated. So not only is this great for hands-on detection, but the Z4 steering wheel can be used for features as well. So here we have an incoming phone call. If I have my hand on the wheel, you can see I have a red and a green button that will follow my hand anywhere on the wheel. Mm -hmm. So I can answer that call merely by touching the green button and then the red button to hang it up. On the left side, we can do things like the adaptive cruise control system. So merely by swiping my thumb up or down, I can adjust my set speed for my cruise. So 40, 45, 50, or back down to uh, shut it back off so we don't go 60 miles per hour <laughs> around this circle. <coughs> so again, the uh, Z-Force wheel is infrared technology. And uh, with this, we're studying the communication between the driver and an autonomous vehicle. And these were just a couple of traffic situations. But very similar to the very similar to the Z Force wheel, we've also installed our touch pads. So I'm gonna switch over to that demonstration now. So the touch pads are located here on the steering wheel. And what we've done is we've removed the mechanical buttons that were once on the wheel. And the mechanical buttons were great because they can do one or sometimes two features. But here we've installed touch pads. So very similar to a, uh, a tele, or a, yeah, an iPhone, right? Merely by swiping left, right, up, down, I can change things within the features. Mm. So here we can go from phone to media to nav by swiping on the bottom. If I swipe in the middle, I can then move within that feature 
or even up and down to get additional things. So as we continue, uh, they can also be used for things like answering a phone call, a simple swipe to the left, and a touch, and another touch to end that call. So these touch pads can be used essentially to do anything here on the stack. They can be used for the HVAC system, the radio, any and all features that are in the car. And the idea is hands on the wheel, eyes on the road, quick glances down like you're checking the speedometer, and you're able to manipulate pretty much any feature. So think about the last time you were at an airport and you got into a rental car that you didn't really know. How much time you spent looking down trying to find the radio control or the HVAC system. So we think this is a really good solution for that. And then here on this other side, on the left side, you can see I can swipe uh, up and down and set my time gap between me and the vehicle in front of me. Or I can easily plus and minus to change our adaptive cruise control set speed again with pluses and minuses. So very intuitive on how they work, uh, very friendly. They both work with gloves because we have light reflection on the Z4 steering wheel. And then we have light blocking is how the touch pads are working. So when my finger's on there, it's actually blocking the light into the system. And we were using the same technology in the lead car. Mm -hmm. right. But it was not... Uh, uh, we would we not dem demonstrate it in only like this. It was just there, right. just acting. Yes, and, really and as you had both hands on the wheel, most of the time, uh, there was no reason to, 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 to tell you to, to grip, to take a <laughs> more safer grip. <laughs> um, is this something then that would be supplied kind of as a tier one thing that needs to be integrated with everything else in the car? Or is it, like, could you aftermarket the steering wheel? Because it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it depends probably on what the application is. But the uh, Z Forest wheel is ready for production. Okay. It's been through all its validation steps. We have several OEMs that are very interested mm -hmm. and have it on prototype vehicles already. Okay. Uh, we have some OEMs that are writing their own software to program it. Okay. So it's very programmable. And other OEMs that are having us, so they're giving us the direction how they would like it programmed. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Some don't like the colors okay. and the illumination, okay. right? So we can back that down and kind of make it however they would like to see. Mm -hmm. And then same with the touch pads. Uh, these are currently going through their validation process and we're very close and uh, easily programmable and manipulated into whatever a uh, OEM or a tier one supplier may like to see. As far as um, the human machine interface and how it hands over control, the first time when we passed those cars that were close to the lane marker, mm -hmm. Um, it gave you a warning and said, hey, human, you need to pay attention, mm -hmm. but it didn't require you to take control of that. Correct. It, so you al paid attention, but allowed the system to see if it actually needed help? Was that... Right. The, the red is when it needs me to take control. Right. So the yellow is a warning that, hey, we have a weird situation coming up. And again, these are just examples. Right. We're not saying this has to be the way that goes. These are just examples of how the wheel may be used. Okay. Okay. And, and mixing it as we do it with leave, mm -hmm. with the understanding where you have your gaze, mm -hmm. that oh, is sure. where okay. you really understand how uh, how capable the driver is to take care of the situation. Mm -hmm. So it will be uh, in, in leave. It will be dependent on Mark paying attention or not. Right. So more of a level two situation or a level three. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.